The Makos, sponsored by Amat Law versus the Ghost Riders, sponsored by One Hop to Shop. Uh, we are live. We are ready to go, Eric, whenever you are ready to go. And uh, I have Big Bird in the commentary booth today. Here we go. What's up, Mike? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. How about you? Another Sunday. Shot Darts. Uh-oh. Wow. The Shot Doc himself. Wow. Starting, Starting out the game hot. hot. You got to love to see Shot Doc hitting shots. Last week had a bit of a struggle. Uh, but this is a clash of the Titans. This week we have some fun matchups because we have the two winners playing each other and we have the two losers playing each other. Good ball movement right here. Triangle. Goes to the three. Oh, left the short. Offensive rebound. My Chan, good put back. Chan, good put back. The Choo Choo Train Johnson. Look at him. And look at this evolution in technology. We have it on both scoreboards now, so we're going to be able to see the score. Which is something we have not been able to see since coming to this one gym. Oh. In and out. Good and rebound. You know what? You got to love the group rebound there, group effort. We had a new starting lineup here. I believe Axel started last week for the Ghost Riders. Uh-oh! And Ghost with the three. Definitely could have been an and one. Nice little shot there by Ghost. And we got extra one up top over to 1v1. 1v1 God. Taking Trayvon off the dribble. Oh my God, nice move. Uh, Ooh, a we just good move, a good hustle by Shot Doc. Vaughn against Yusuf. Pulls up. Pulls up. I don't like oh, that. No, I don't either. It, it reminds me of Coach Carter when he did that and the coach got all mad. Oh, Shot Doc again. Oh, oh, oh my God. These are in and outs coming from the Makos, but wow. X right there. A very hot start for both teams. Yep. Ripping the Band-Aid off early with these points. You got to love to see it. 5-5 five, five here. Big Bird, the winner of week one, gets his first Selling Nation League win. How did that feel, Big Bird? Felt good. Um, I feel like luck was more of on our side than than skill, but you know that's basketball. Oh my God! Oh, what great a dish. pass, and that is what the assist of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. Hit up Josiah Kenyon 407-735-6228. We Buy Houses. You just did that it's just so effortlessly. It was just so like a poetry in motion right there. He's talented. He's very talented. Got a good defense. See good defense. Pull up. Chan. Oh my God. He Bang! And then he stares him down afterwards. Bang! Represent the big fellas in the league, Chan. Let's go. Kyle King, you are so skinny. <laughs> no, I meant like in height, not, not in weight. <laughs> Chan's a big boy, but that was a big shot from Chan. And, and Trayvon. Oh, good move. Ew. That should be a, that should be a blocking Something. Foul. Yeah, either blocking or uh, charge. If you, if you can notice now, we have blue tape underneath that uh, Coach Tone put on. Uh, that's going to represent our restricted area from here on out. Oh, could have been a turnover shot, Doc, trying to get him back. Over to 1v1, God. Getting guarded by Trayvon, a new addition oh in the league. Oh, my God. The nice little turnaround. Mako's Lupinelli. with the cutting is insane right now in the offense. This is a ridiculous amount of points scored early here. I know. Both teams are just not missing. It's a very impressive offensive performance. Oh my Great God. pass. Oh, my God. Wow, another assist of the day. This is fundamental basketball. Wow. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. They're going to get a lot of shout-outs if the ball movement is going to be like this all game. No, there's no defense, but you know what? It's not about defense, Tone. It's about offense. And that's what's fun. <laughs> Nobody wants to see defense. I like to see defense. Did anybody enjoy the Reapers versus the Panthers last week? No. We enjoyed a shootout. Magicians versus Makos, season four. A phenomenal series of two games. Oh, Good yeah. Ball Good ball Way movement. Him. Oh. Off the mark there. Trayvon comes up with the loose ball. Finds Vaughn 2K. Oh, just That's ran into the brick job. wall. That's a great job. That's a great job. That's a travel. Yep. Great That's defense. a great job by Kyle Arts get in front. Yeah, that's a great job. Great defense, getting his Kyle. Feet in front. A ran travel into a brick on Von 2K. Uh oh. The shot doc saying, you gotta be better. <laughs> and Vaughn getting mad already. Good defense by Ghost. Gets the steal. Ryan comes up with the loose ball. Now slow it down. Oh, he's uh, gonna, no, yep, no. He's gonna, uh -oh. this. he's gonna do something. Oh. Good take. Oh. Foul is on shot, Doc. Should be on the floor. What do you attack the rim after just running to a brick wall? Like that offense. It's a big boy. That's it's a big boy. <laughs> That's the first foul. 
against sure against the Makos. Goes, goes pulling up deep. from deep. Off the mark. I'm, I'm not a fan of that shot. No. I know he hit one in the corner earlier, but he's more of an on-the-line kind of shooter. He's not really a deep kind of shooter. But I also feel like that shot was really rushed. Yes. Getting the ball back, yes. set the offense up, put it back up top, move the ball around. You guys are doing good cutting. Just keep keep what's working. You don't need to force no shots. He's going to pull two. Oh. No. There you go. Doesn't settle. Finds Ryan. Bad pass. Chan, it's a big screen. Gets him wide open. Off the mark. Out of bounds. We got Mako Ball. 9-12. Already some chirping back and forth early here. So no Josh today. 1v1 God pulls up. Our uh, sports broadcasting expert out of Full Sail. But we do have another member from Full Sail here, our new intern Mike, uh, videographer over there. So we're moving on up, slowly but surely. Hopefully we can soon outsource the videos in entirely and not have uh, Ash and the camera crew each game. That would be nice. Shout out Ash, though. For all Shout out Ash. For uh, being on the iPad all day for five hours straight, clicking through screens of terrible shots. And, and listening to terrible arguing, right? She does video, too? or just, just She hears pictures. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she hears everything. <laughs> So she's out there, well, right through his leg. Nutmeg of the day, brought to you by Kyle King Soccer Academy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought, like, wait, am I sponsoring? Do I have a soccer store? <laughs> I mean, I know you like soccer. So. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got that. Like, I'm a little bit slow, so I had a, I just had to think about that for a minute. But that's a good steal there by Ryan Salaji. As goes right his ball, Juan coming up, set the offense up. Oh, he needs to pass that. But wow, that is that's a foul. A, that's, that's an and one. That's an athletic that's move an right there. One. That's an yeah. athletic boy right there. Foul is on Luca Finelli, number 26, the Mako's captain. Hey, Move that a little bit closer to your okay. mouth. Thank Basically, you. just make out with it, Kyle King. Make out with the mic. Make out with the mic. I can do that. It's practice. And then we're going to pass it around, and everybody else <laughs> is going to get a chance later on. Von 2K with the traditional three point play. Ghost Riders up early here. Now in Parker's power rankings after week one, Ghost Riders sat atop of the Orange Conference and uh, Makos were the oh, number nice defense, four seed, actually. so sitting number two in their conference. I don't know, a lot of, a lot of um, talk back and forth of which team out of these two were, was better after week one. Oh, good defense. But right now, early, Ghost Riders are, are showing that last week against La Familia was not a fluke. They are a team that should be taken seriously, and you love to see it out of a new captain, Ghost. Right. I just think the Ghost Riders are just playing more fundamental basketball. Yeah, I mean, they look do at all this. Phenomenal job passing. Look at this. Wow. Like, this is just basketball. Wow. I feel like Bakos right now are playing more, like, one-on-one, -on -one, just, just backyard basketball. This team's actually, you know, has an offense set up, knows what they're doing, pick, pick and rolls. They're and, just playing basketball. And you look at Yusuf now getting upset on the, on the sideline. Um, but we're going to take a timeout read here. Uh, what we're going to get into is one hop to shop. One hop to shop is the official home of all Selling Nation League merchandise starting in, well, now week three of season five. They'll be releasing the official merch line for the season, hoodies, shirts, socks, and more. One hop to shop will have all the things you need, Selling Nation. Stay tuned for more info on how to get your one-of-a-kind Selling Nation League merchandise. Um, I need to get a hoodie. You need to get a hoodie for sure. I don't have a hoodie. Uh, I don't know if Parker's going to be doing timeouts after this. I think he's drinking some coffee, getting getting in. Uh, hey, hey, Parker, are you, do you want to do timeouts after this one? Beautiful. So after this one, we're going to go over to the, the sideline commentary. Dre, can I have the pen for just a moment? Oh, never mind. I got an extra pen over here. Thank you. I need a hoodie, Mike. I have no well, hoodies at my, in my closet. You know what? We will get you a hoodie, Kyle King, from one hop to shop. Let's do that. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, that's a foul. Yusuf, does a great job of body control when he's getting into the paint. He slows himself down and he calls the contact there. It's like he goes in full speed and then all of a sudden he just hits the slow motion. Yes. And then he just puts it up and then gets fouled or makes it in. Yeah, it's and it's, it's hard to guard because the tempo switch is right. something that elite guards do. And Yusuf is an elite guard. Uh, his temper is what put him into the second round. But regardless, he's doing, a, he's doing a phenomenal job now and last week. 32 points, shot over 50% from the field. I believe 57% from the three. So it was a great showing. Can he keep that up? Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Did he start last week or did he take the six-man role? No, he started. Okay. You know he's not. If he was upset about not being a first-round pick, there's no chance he comes off the bench on any team. 
but QGZ oh, and Ziggy Zay in the game. All right, all right, guys, all right. Let me show the effort, though. I like the effort, just don't hit the uh, scorer's table. You know, I want to see more from 1v1 God. Last season, Rookie of the Year, played mm -hmm. a great uh, last four games of the season. And last week, only 11 points. Is that Phil's defense that held him up? I don't like that, but he's going to wow. hit it. My, that's nasty. That it's boy tough. nasty. That's the sweet finish of the day brought to you by Asses Bake Shop, if I've seen one. That was just nice. In between his legs multiple times and then pulls up from deep. He you, loves doing that. You, you feel like he's very comfortable with that uh -oh. shot. Yusuf answers uh -oh. and he talks. Yeah. There you go, Yusuf. You got to love his energy. He's a fan favorite here. Uh, yeah. Kicked out after season three, but somehow finagled his way halfway through season four to replace Corey getting kicked off the Reapers. And we got X bringing the ball down here. Going to find nobody. Taking his time. QDZ in the paint. That's a, a lot of man between these two. Oh, yeah. Axel, phenomenal defense. And like I've said so many times, he can guard one through five. Yeah. Axel's been putting that work in off season. He's doing you a great could, job. You can easily tell that he's been he's been doing doing God's work on the basketball court, on that five four man guarding any position he wants. Good defensive player. Oh, uh -oh. No. oh, that's a good red. An uncaused turnover, Yusuf. I gotta say though, good job by the Ghost Riders being back, but Yusuf just makes them pay. Phenomenal take by Yusuf. A little brisky. Oh, that's phenomenal man, that's defense, nice and that's a great right strip by Yusuf. He had six steals last game, too. Good pass, good take, off the mark. Great board by Trey Vaughn, and Ryan gets hit in the mouth there. We hope he's okay. Vaughn's pulling, you know that, off the mark. Oh. Ziggy Zay, great hustle, X great hustle. Keeps it in bounds. Great hustle by Ziggy Zay. Vaughn comes up with the rebound, finds Trey. Good take. Good take. Absolutely, that's a mismatch there. If Shot Doc's not in, in position already, Trayvon should be able to get right past him because that, that man is an athlete. I want to see the Mako set up their offense more for their shooters, X and Ka. I mean, they, they haven't taken that many shots. It's just been 1v1 going to use it, which is rightfully so, but with those shooters, you want to get some at least off-ball screens and get them in the game. Get them comfortable with their shot. Get them hot. Remember last week with Kyle, we went just off with his three-pointers, uh, three and I would like to see that with the Makos because look at this. Ghost Riders just passing it around. Axel with the down. Oh, oh, big block by 1v1 God. The thing is, what you saw earlier, Shot Doc hits a three, and they haven't found him since. Yeah. He's the best shooter in the league. He's been sure. three-point champion season three. Um, that man needs the opportunity to get shots up. Last week, he didn't get enough shots, and you saw. Uh, but this week, I think it's the same thing. Listen, Yusuf's playing phenomenal. 1v1 God, not so much right now. But... Wow. Wow. Way to keep the ball high when he does that. Yeah, he, he does a great in. job driving. You got to cut him off. He wants yeah. to go to his right hand. They, they need to get other guys involved. X is a good shooter. QDZ in the paint. Oh, nice good. fucking good pass. Nice pass. That's it right there. A little high post, high low. Single letter names, QX. Oh, Jaquan Brooks making his debut since season two for the Ghost Riders. He's back out here. Jaquan, uh, one, one season, one championship with the Baby Blue Lions. Our last round pick ended up being a starter in the playoffs for us when, when we didn't have Nacho, and he played great. Shot at a very oh high God, percentage, oh. and that's off the mark. Good defense, good hustle, 1v1 God. I don't know if he passed it. He wants the credit for the assist. He did. He, he like he hit it. So like he could have grabbed it, but instead of grabbing it and passing it, he hit it. He smacked, and it, he over smacked to him. it over. There you go. Well, assist of the day brought to you by Lil Brisky. <laughs> That's what he wants. <laughs> Lon, I don't like that. Get your guys involved. I, I understand you hit one, but you got to do more. Brisk. Oh yeah. Oh, you have one more pass to yeah. QDZ, and you have a wide open layup. Or to X on the outside. Yeah, anything. <laughs> That's a good take by Vaughn. Good body control. I think you, I think you pull one v one right now, give him a little break, and then in a minute and a half you put him in for Yusuf. Little hop step. That man used to be a starting quarterback in high school. He loves telling that story. He told it again this morning that I was his center and he was the quarterback. Uh, and you know what? He's moving kind of like it again. The starting quarterback. He was, he was our quarterback, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, he put on a few LBs, but you know what? He's using the weight at least. He's, he's doing a phenomenal job in the paint since the end of last season. 
really became a force in this league. Oh, nice wow. Fucking pass. That is Lost the assist. Oh, no. That would have been the assist of the day. Dude, you jinxed that, Mike. You definitely jinxed that. You oh! Thought, you thought that. Ooh, Trayvon, sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. And two timeouts early here for the Makos. Uh, we're going to get into another timeout read here. We have We Buy Houses. We buy houses and mobile homes. Any type, any condition, no equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. Flexing this bone right here, man. This is a, this is a, this is a big bird bone. Shame. We missed the timeout from uh, double Uno, or single Uno. Darius, oh. Nice rebound by Ziggio. He has Ghost oh, down there. What? He passes up. Oh, Ooh, good defense. Good and that, defense. that is Mako's ball. That, oh, no. That hit off Ghost's hands. That should have been Mako's ball. Who am I to ref? Double pick up top. Trayvon, he loves the midi. Finds Ghost, Ghost in the corner. What I would like to see from Ghost is a little bit less shooting um, and a little bit more oh, getting to the hole. Oh, my God. Nice. Good oh. take by Chani. That's a lot of man on a lot of man. Jaquan. Good pass. Nice pass. That was a great pass. I would like to see Ghost attack a little bit more. I feel like the other day when we played uh, pickup, he did a good job of putting the ball on the floor and getting to the hole. I feel like in the league, he's settling a lot. And we got a shot doc sub on the next dead ball. Or on the, on the next free throw, excuse me. Fadi. Let's get Fadi in the game here. Fadi had a great game in week one in their win against the Magicians. I don't know how much of a win it was um, or a, a Magician's meltdown, if you would say. Mm. I think it was a mixture of both. I, yeah, think, yeah. I think they started going up and then the meltdown happened after. Fair enough. Because it was a close game and then... Yes, yes. And then they just gave up and then... It just yeah. got ugly from there. <laughs> Domino effect. We all effect. know what happened, but yeah. <laughs> we're glad Yusuf's okay. He got an MRI uh, and he's feeling good. QDZ. There you go. There you go. Give it the shot. Nice That's take. a good move. Good oh take. My. Oh, that would have been nice. Nice shot rebound. And yep, there you go. He gets fouled by Ghost. Number seven. Eric, uh, who's the foul on? Ghost. Foul is on Ghost. We're looking for the Brick of the Day brought to you by Zane the Realtor, our campus legend. So each week, uh, or yeah, each week, I'm going to do a three-year veteran or more, and we're going to gift them the campus legend, whoever had their best game. So last week it was Axel. Um, then the overall player of the week is going to be your platinum player, brought to you by Chris Scalco. Then we also have one hop too many, a travel. I guess I missed that one earlier. And then we have the slip and fall, brought to you by Amat Law. That was not a travel. Stayed on his left foot. That was a pivot foot. Trayvon, he dared him to shoot. Wow, I gotta say, great showing here early from the Ghost Riders. I'm very happy to see their success. Now, does Ziggy know that his tights don't match the orange on the jersey? It's okay, it's close enough. Close enough? It's the thought that counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he goes out of bounds. I'm gonna write this phonetically. I think that's a good timeout right there. Reevaluate, they're down by 10. Try to cut the lead down to five within the half. Yeah, it's, I don't know if they're going to be able to the way that they're playing right now. I think they need a couple subs. Um, and I don't, I don't really know what their bench is going to have to offer them. They, they need to get shot docked the ball. It's very hard to not put my foot out. Dude, what are you, what are you doing, man? I don't know. It's my first time here. Uh, <laughs> but we're going. <laughs> Von 2K. Now, are those, did he buy those shoes like that? Or did he buy... Two pairs of shoes and then just switch them out. I'm gonna assume he buys two, buys two, but a great block by QDZ. What I don't know is how does he pick which side is which? Did he try both on and see which one was more comfortable? I feel like those are mellow shoes. I feel like they each, are. Okay, so yes. each shoes are different color. I think that's just like a, like what you buy. Like it's like a really yeah 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 because I think. I think Uno has has mellow shoes, and like I think it's like one shoe is a different color than the next shoe. That's pretty cool, I guess. That's might have, different. Might have to get me a pair. Uh, like. Foul is on 34. Channy, Channy, ah, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. Body passes in one v one, got from three. 
That's mm. off the mark. That's a bad shot. But yeah, as Braylon said last uh, week with the commentary, you want 1v1 guy to settle like that. Uh, this is, nope, off right. We got Ryan. Ryan from three. Nope. See, that's, that's the issue here is you didn't get Ryan involved early. Now he's, when he has the ball, he's forced to, to put up a shot. Oh, good nice pass. pass. Oh. Off the mark. Good hustle. Good hustle all around here. Qdizi. Oh, off the mark. Ten point game still. Nice rip. I gotta say, I like the way that the refs are, are refing this game. They're yeah. letting it play, and they're not uh, calling too many. Chan, another three. Represent the big fellas out there, buddy. Chan playing phenomenal early. Is that two threes? Did he hit a layup as well? Yeah. Six or eight points couple, for Chan. A couple rebounds, too. Yeah, now Chan, this is his redemption tour this season here. Mm -hmm. He's not a Reaper anymore. It's just not a good what shot. He hit it, but like you got to get the ball moving here. I would have subbed in Yusuf a little bit earlier for 1v1, but you know I made that recommendation before. I think that he's just he's not moving the ball well enough, and his shoe is untied. That's a terrible shot. Speaking of bad shots, that takes the cake. They didn't get the rebound, man. All right, we got Jaquan already upset here. We got a timeout by the Ghosts. Oh, look at Dean coming in with a messed up foot. Oh, Dean in the building. We'll have him commentating the next uh, two games. And see, he's hobbling. He wanted me to bring crutches, but I was already here. Dean, how you feeling? Better, He's been better. He got a three-inch right three thorn dug straight into his foot, and he knows three inches. <laughs> he texted me that. That's just, I have the I have the proof. Eric, I love the timer. So, so I saw you saw me. You sent me a picture. I'm not allowed to post the picture. I understand. But he knows three inches. I understand. Like shoes off in the summer, mowing your lawn, but in the winter when it's cold, like why is it off? Like it, it doesn't make sense. It's in the winter. Your toes are going to get cold. You're going to get hypothermia. You got your sandals on? So it went through your sandal? No, I took it off. <laughs> Why are you wearing sandals in the winter? You know what, Kyle King? Not all of us have common sense. Oh, I don't have common sense, but, like, all right, I'm all for barefoot wearing and letting the puppies breathe, but... I am not. Oh, okay. That is not my thing. Mike is not Big a foul. foot guy. Not a foot guy. I'm just not a barefoot in the grass kind of guy. Uh, I think in Celebration, there's a lot of, uh, like, the fake grass, uh -huh. and there's also a lot of ant piles. So I'm not really trying to step in an anthill. Step, step in the anthill, make them bite your foot. Oh, yeah, perfect. Actually, I, I hear that. Live, 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 live life on the edge a little bit there, Mike. It's like a pedicure. You know, <laughs> when they have the piranhas eat your feet, it's the same thing except for you get red hives all over you. Uh, Trey Way with the free throw. They're up by 12 here. What's your prediction early here for this game? Do you mm. think it's going to be the same in the second half? I think the Makos need to get get in the huddle and they need to start setting up plays at least some off screens for their shooters and get them hot early in the game once they get hot then that would make the ghost riders play them up and then that makes it more cutting room for one movie one god and use it to do what they wow. do good they great, shoot and cut. great job by q yeah i agree i agree they need to be able to play that inside out game a little bit better and that's a foul 36.6 on the clock 26 to 37, 11 point game. I mean, 37 in the first half, I mean, that's... I think what we're seeing here is the Makos need to get shot dock the ball more. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of good things have happened when it's in Kyle's hand because he's a high IQ and unselfish guy. Mm -hmm. He's doing a good job of passing and taking the right shots. When he's out of the offense, a, it's worse ball movement, but B, then when he does get the ball, he's going to be forced to take worse shots. You also, want him taking smart shots. Also, I feel like when the Makos are guarding and playing defense, if they get beat off the ball, they kind of just give up. Like, I've just seen multiple times they just get beat and they give up on the play and they give them the wide open shot in the paint. Like, so you think it's a mental thing? Yeah, just it, just give your 100% effort. Like, if you get beat... Good offensive board. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, if you get beat, go... Make up for it. Don't just stand there and be like, oh, like, I'm, oh, oh my God, what a block. What a block to end the half. Block of the day brought to you by H&R Block. That's a great momentum going into the second half. It is. 
And that is our halftime. We're gonna go into our first timeout read. Is one hop to shop. The official home of the Selling Nation League merchandise starting in week three of season five. They will be releasing the official merch line for the season. Hoodies, shirts, socks, and more. One hop to shop will have all the things you need. Selling Nation. Stay tuned for more info on how to get your one of a kind Selling Nation League merch. And now we're gonna bring it over to Amat Law. This is attorney Rochelle Amat with Amat Law. I'm a Florida personal injury attorney specializing in auto accidents and slip and falls. I have years of experience recovering millions for my clients at one of the nation's top law firms. If you or a loved one find yourself in this unfortunate situation, make sure to call us today. It would be our honor to represent you. We're super excited to be part of Selling Nation this season. Let's go Makos. Well, check this out. The Ghost Riders are not even, I've, I've watched them the whole half. They haven't even set up a game plan. The Makos have been sitting over here, good captain by Luke and just getting them together and figuring out what they need to do. Look, the Ghost Riders are just messing around doing dunks and but they you, even have that you game. you gotta think, sometimes it's better to just have fun. I you mean, know, simply in a game like this where they're not really thinking, they're not really like game planning, the Ghost Riders seem like they're just playing basketball. That's fine. I feel like for them, they might be better off not game planning. When you have a guy like Vaughn, who's just gonna do what he wants anyway, uh -huh. I feel like you may not even want a game plan. You may just want to let him do his thing Fair until enough. that ship sinks. Fair enough. I, I, I think it's the different stories for both teams. One team's yes. down by 13, one team's yes. up by 13. So no, it's like, in Luke's, in Luke's yeah. shoes, you, ha you have to formulate something yeah. to change what the hell's going on right now. Um, and Shot Doc walked away uh, looking for Tylenol. Not sure what happened on his end, but hopefully he's okay. You know, tall fellows like us, we get back pain, so back spasms. No, but that's your possession. You have the first possession, so it should be Riders Ball. So it's Ghost Riders Ball going left. Thank you. Uh, 13 point game here. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Ghost. Starting him. Wow. 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 I mean, you got to play defense right there. Yeah, 16 point game. Yeah, it's just with. With Vaughn, you have to. That's a. I don't really like that pass. You put him in a very bad position. That's a good pass from Jaquan, but better defense by the Makos. Great hustle by Luke and one v one guy. Oh, good defense by Vaughn. Two K. Q D Z using his ass. Back him down. Gets in there. A lot of boards. Another block by Vaughn. That is wow. two blocks in a row. Block to block. Trayvon. After all that, nice I want to see Vaughn get the ball back. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. 26 42. Uh, what do we got? We got a bucket. Did that point count? It looks like it counted, Tone. He said it was right here. He doesn't even know who the foul was on. <laughs> who the foul was on? Uno, you got to be up, buddy. Hey. Uno. Uno. You gotta be up. Uno. Eric, who was the foul on? Uno, you gotta be up. Trayvon hits it. Oh, I guess he hit two free throws. I thought he hit the layup, but it must have been on the first shot. I don't know what's going on there. I think you uh, a lot of bitching. Yeah. Who's the foul on? Ziggy Zay, I thought so as well. I definitely saw him. It looked like from here, this is on the refs now to take control of this game. A lot of bitching, a lot of complaining. Uh, start teaming people up. I want to see you guys kicked out. Let's kick their ass. Yeah, let's get some teas in here. Yeah. Team up. Eric, team up. Team up. Come on. Actually, the last week was the first tea I've seen in my Silly League Nation. Now, we, we've had tea. We had teas last year. Oh, I, I guess I just... Corey kicked the speaker, got kicked out of the league. I was, I was, see, I was out. I was, uh, I was in there. I was see, in there. you know what? That's your own fault for not being there, Big Bird. Yeah, that's all. You that's have to be me. here Yusuf for every deep. week. Bang. Uh-oh. From downtown. From the logo. From the logo, okay. Yusuf. Now, the thing we have to watch out for is, A, he's mad, and B, he just hit a shot. I feel like in the next few minutes, he's going to have a hot, hot little run. And a steal, though. And then he's going to make a lot of bad mistakes. He's got to corral his energy now. It could be a new Yusuf. But if he corrals his energy, oh, that's that's a, that's a lot of fouling up top there. Yeah. No, that's bad. That's bad. It's a bad pass. It looked like the Harlem Globetrotters rolled it off his hand. 
There you go. Two. What? What? Don't let him get set. Don't let him get set. Let him get set. You got to hold the ball. You got to hold the ball. You can't be doing that. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You can't call an out of bounds and then not that's let them. Nice. nice defense on top. That's that old athleticism. Good pass. Good finish. Eric, you got to let him know he's got to hold the ball. 1v1 got up top, looking for someone to pass it to. Well, hopefully now those two points don't come back to bite the Ghost Riders, because that would be real unfortunate. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> not saying that QDZ wouldn't have hit that layup anyway, because he's right under the block, but and that's a good pass. Nice cut. Oh. And good ball movement here by the Ghost Riders. Oh, good shot. Off the mark. Everyone got push it. Everyone needs to keep running down the floor. They're down by a lot. They, oh, nice shot. X. X. We've seen bigger comebacks. This is only, he just traveled. It's only 11 points. We got a sub on the next one. Shot top back in the game. What's the biggest comeback you've seen in Silly Nation? Um, off top, what I can remember, season one championship game. Red team was up by 20 plus uh, wow. against the green team. Outside, green team, Dean quit late on the grass. And they had, Chili was injured. And... BDM with one ACL was playing, <laughs> and they had two females. They come back, down 20, nice and then Dean comes in the last minute and claims that he was the reason why they won. So Was he? No. He maybe hit a shot or two, but you sat out for 20 minutes because you were too hot. They, made, they went on like a 20-point run, but that's the biggest one I can think of on top. And it's kind of like the Will Chamberlain game. Go, take the easy two. Take the easy two. Oh! oh! That was clean! That was clean! That was clean. That was clean. That was, that clean. was clean. That was clean. That was a block and a half. That's, that's a block. That's a block. I couldn't see. Dude, the refs need to come together and figure it out. Don't listen to the players. Block yep. them out. Block yep. them out. That's a dude. That was a. That man came from behind. That like was, LeBron James I saw that heat. coming. If he would have just passed it up to Luke, Luke would have had a better look, in my opinion. Oh, nice oh, steal by X. Hey, ball don't lie. Pull it back. 1v1 settling, but he might hit it oh, off the mark. He's, now, been, he's, he's having yeah. a rough time shooting. You got a foul on shot, Doc. Foul on shot, Doc. Foul's Chan. 1v1 God just needs to get back in his mojo, man. Just need to... Take a deep breath. I gotta say, that's how dangerous Chan has been today, that they're fouling him full court. <laughs> <laughs> that's how good Chan has they're been today. They're double teaming him full yeah, court. Yeah, they are not letting him even get the ball down past half. I mean, there's been a lot of chances for the Makos to bring this in with the yeah, least Chan, look, and look what I'm saying here. Comes up with the loose ball, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Oh, God, Chan! Hey, 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 he's in my place, he's in my place! Let's go, Chan! And he just traveled. <laughs> Oh no, Chani, big red, choo choo, bring on the bring on the churro. Bye Let's bye. Go. Na, 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 na. Oh man. Oh wow. I gotta say, we said last week Axel's MIP. Can we do a joiner award for Chaxel? Because both of them are playing phenomenal. That's oh, a terrible God. shot. That's, a, awesome. That's, That's a, a horrible shot. That was a baseline leaner. Shout awesome. out to NBA oh Hang God. Time. What a pass. What a pass. He's a cut right there. All right, nice. Nice. Wow, is that another block? Yeah, it's another Welcome block. to the block party. That's at least four blocks between Vaughn and Trayvon. Good pass. Good pass. Dude. I'm loving this Ghost Rider wow. team. This is deadly. Coach Tillman, it's got to make you feel better. It's got to make you feel better. You lost to this unit, and they're playing phenomenal. Good hustle there by Yusuf. Nice. And in the, in the chat during the Makos. podcast, the Makos were upset because they had a bigger margin of victory. Wolf, yep. Somebody's got to call a great Wait, hustle. Great hustle. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Time, time, time. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, that's a big blow. We really hope that Vaughn is okay. Uh, he's been having a phenomenal season starting in the scrimmages. Oh, my God. Do I oh, it's going to come on Chan at this point. Chan is going to be that yeah. guy. I think Chan drops 50 today. Axel up triple top. Du triple double from Chan. I hope so. Oh, oh, nice great cut. Pass. Nice cut. Pass. Assist oh. of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. Shout out, Axel. Shout out, Axel. Gotta love the way he's playing today. You gotta hit a shot, though. Wow. Really struggling. Trayvon, slow it down now. Slow it down. A lot of contact here. A lot of guys yeah, really playing. It's crazy because it's week two of 10, and guys are playing like it's playoffs. Guys are playing very hard already. Trayvon. 
I think with people being eliminated from playoffs, it's making guys try a little bit more. Oh no, Axel. He just broke his 100% streak. He was 100% before that. Luca Vanelli. From the logo, Why? from the logo. Bang! Bang! I'm wrong, you know what? He Use hit it, it again. Use it from the logo! He's got Looking it. like Trey Young out there. But they gotta make a stop. Yeah. They've gotta make a stop. Down it means nothing if they cannot make a stop. You gotta there dig deep. Go. Just keep it slow. There's no shot clock. Oh yeah, there is a shot, Doc. Chani, oh no. He got him, he has, he has a three on one. Whoa, whoa. Foul's on number three. Foul is number three, Yusuf. Hey, can we speed the clock up? Is that something we can do? Let's get this game over with. 40 to 53. Foul on Makos, foul on Yusuf. On the floor. That should be Makos. I mean, I can't see from here, but it looked like Makos. We got TP in the building over there as well. GM5 League All right, owner. Down, down by three. Oh my god. What are we doing? I gotta say, what I do like about Yusuf back up. is after he shoots those horrible shots, he sprints in after them. Ah, it's good hustle by X. Fastest man alive. Yeah, he, th that man is so fast. Just reset it. There's no shot clock. It's a rush shot. Yeah, it's, it's just not it. It's just not it. Nice, nice rebound by Luke. Yep. Oh, Axel lost his shoe. Yusuf passed the ball. There you go. Good pass over to 1v1 God. He got hacked uh, on the floor. Yeah, on the floor. On the floor. It's on the Foul's floor. Foul's on who? Foul's on Axel. Vaughn limping. Vaughn, don't rush it, bro. You're up by 13. Uh, that's bad. That's, that's just stupid. I think it was for dramatic effect, maybe. In my opinion, why did they have five guys over here like it was a bunch? And that's off the mark. In my opinion, it didn't look like that bad of a hit. I'm not a doctor. Maybe just a charlie horse. I just have my you know sports and exercise degree from UCF, but that only means so much. Good pass. You know, you know when someone like knees you in the back of the knee and that, yes. it, it's like charlie yes. horse. I think it was like that. It could have been, but instead of a knee, it was a shoulder. Yeah, 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 something like that. Good little hezzy. The hezzy guy. Nice ball shot movement. Dog. Bang. I like that. Shot dog. That's, See, that's that's what that's I one of the best goes. plays I've seen today. Yeah. Great ball movement. That's uh, what Yusuf, they need to do. Yusuf looking to be the Jose Alvarado, but now look what happens. He's out of position entirely, and he gives up a three. That's why that play does not make sense all the time. Yusuf chose to stand over here, act like he was on the bench so he can try to make a steal. Who is he guarding? Vaughn. Who gets a wide open shot? Vaughn. That's why discipline defense is better than that cheap shit. Feeling frisky. Oh yeah, good pass. Shot See, dock. that's what they need to do, Mike. You see what I'm saying? They need to get Yusuf at number one, yes. and they need to have um, 1v1 and Kyle on the wings, and Yusuf yes. does his slow motion drive to the paint yep. and kicks it back out. Yep. That's, it's, it's worked the last two times. They're yep. two for two for it. It's it's quite simple offense when you have the best shooter in the league. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good shot. Great hustle by Axel. Oh, good pass. He got that's fouled. A foul. but that's a foul. Pat's on. I don't even think Pat was looking at wow. the Wow. Yeah, but he is in the restricted area. What is he doing? Wow, what a pass. Sub him out. Someone put in Fadi. I, th I think they're doing a really bad job with the, with the rotations here because their bench has not even seen the second half. I know. I feel bad for those guys. What are we doing here? Isn't there a violation? If someone yes, there is. There is. Speaking of which, the Magicians should have a free throw for their game, and I believe the Reapers as well. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna instill that on the Reapers against us. <laughs> Good hustle. Ryan have a rough time offensively today. Honestly, they would benefit from some from some subs right now. Come on, they need to hit that. That's huge if they hit that. That's huge. Big hit. That's huge. Now down by nine. Timeout. Got to sub. Got to make some subs if you yeah, lose here. It's got to go to to the line, baby. It can't go too loud. If you have to turn it up, turn up my gain here instead. You see, like that bold line. That's a foul. Good hustle by Good Axel. Foul. Oh my God! Get he in just there. Jump the baby. Ball. He just hit the Jump baby. Ball. Oh no. Why is Fadi not getting more minutes? I want okay? Fadi. Is the baby okay? Where's the baby? A uh, little kid. A kid on iPad kid. Just got nailed. iPad kid. Oh, iPad oh, girl. Oh, kid? Oh, yeah, dude. Damn. She okay? I think so. 
So I'm gonna get her like a lollipop or something. You know, I think she's confused. She's looking for the Sally Nation stream, and we're not streaming today. Oh, you guys are not streaming? We're not. We're just live editing it. I'm, I'm hoping that the quality can be better. Oh, uh, he's doing use of shit. Pass the ball. Still in. Ah, that could have been a tee. And now that, oh my god, now they're Six down point game. Oh, Mike, Look what happens. Got a game. Look what happens. Great defense great and defense. great steal by Yusuf. Slow it down. Find your guys a shot. Take your, your time. Shot. Now there's plenty of time. It's just a bad. Yeah, what are you doing? Why did you that? spin and do a loop de loop? Dunk it. Block that. Block that. And and one. See? One. That's, if Yusuf doesn't do that, it's different. Yeah, you, he's got to slow it down. Yep. It's, a, it's a six point game yep. with almost seven minutes on the clock. There's no need to rush that much. I don't know what he's thinking. Trey's shooting. He's doing actually a very good job of milking the clock right now. And he hits it. And that's a nine point game again. It became a game though out of nowhere. Oh my god. What are they doing? Oh, he had X. Darius. Oh, good ball movement. 1v1 moving before the ball. The classic wide receiver mistake. Good take off the mark. He's struggling. Big board by QDZ and he gets fouled. At this point, you got to hustle to the line. We got a foul on 21 Axel. We got a lot of bitching. Eric, just ignore it. Just keep playing. He has to have positioning. He has to have positioning for it to be an over the back. You know how many times somebody has grabbed the ball from over my head because I'm 5'10? 5'11? 5'11? Hey, with uh, with like two inch boots on. With two inch boots on, I'm six foot. There you go. You gotta look at the bright side of things. That's all right. Travel. That's a travel. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Tee him up, Pat. Pat, tee him up, Pat. Oh, one hop too many. Thank you, Ash. One hop too many. Brought to you by One Hop the Shop. Great call there by Ash. Oh. Yusuf, bing bong. We got a timeout, right. Ghost Riders. Six points. Kyle King is going to step away. I'm going to be finishing this broadcast solo dolo. When you're leaving, make sure your lanky legs go over and do not hit any cords, please. I think I can do that. It's very oh, simple I know you can because I could do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Take uh, care, Big Bird. Thank you for coming out. We got Braylon in the booth here. Yeah, a lot, man. Two weeks in a row commentating for him. I think everybody liked my commentary, too. I think you did a good job. I actually referenced your commentating earlier, you know uh, saying that 1v1 got us settling a bit too much for the threes, and that's exactly what the Ghost Riders want, and that's mm -hmm. why they're in this predicament. But six-point game out of nowhere. Hey. Both teams have one timeout. It's because Ghost Riders are worried about calls. Yes. You don't need well, to be worried about calls and, right and now. And the Von 2K uh, injury is what really kind of set things off for them. Good job. Von, you going to get a dunk? Oh, and he got fouled by Shot Doc. And it's smart. Send it to the line. Yep, Foul force him to hit a free throw. Because they're missing a lot down the stretch, too. Yeah, it's an interesting team. I mean, I, I like what they did early. And I said to Tone, you guys got to feel good about your loss last week, the way that they're playing. At least you know that it wasn't a fluke, and they're a good team. Yeah, they're actually playing well. Yeah, they in the first half especially, they had great ball movement, finding open shots for a lot of their guys. I feel like in the second half, what made them fall apart is their lack of communication on defense. When Shot Doc has multiple open open looks, that's, that's that, a problem. That's not that's what you want. Yeah, he's way too and good to shoot. And not only that, they're they're fighting amongst each other now. So like, yes, Vaughn going down in transition, they didn't argue with that once. And then as I'm passing by them taking pictures, they're arguing, saying, "Pass the ball, pass the ball." Yep. So all it takes is one bad seed yep. to throw things off, and he gets hacked. He gets hacked. Q-tip. I said it last week. I say it every week. One of the best rebounders in the league. Yep. And he's he's a force in the paint. He's one of the big guys that knows how to actually use his size. Exactly. He's big, but you know what I'm saying? He knows how to use exactly what you said. He knows how to use his size. Well, I think it's because of his athletic background, because he was a former football player, safety. He still has that in him. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of the LBs came on, and he's still moving. He's still moving well. Yeah, I... 
I don't see nothing wrong with him right now. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. And I think it's helped his game because he's been able to now turn into a post player in a league like this where there's not many. It's a huge advantage to have him on the court. Yeah, major. But our big man of the day is definitely Channing Johnson. Oh, yeah, Channing hitting threes and all that. Yeah, he was, he's cooking. Three threes. Great job by Chan. Telling him, slow it down. Great job, Chan. The best part about Big Red to me is that he t he let everybody know that he makes the shots. Oh, yeah. Travel. Big travel. Yep. They missed, they missed a few of those, but at least they're missing them on both sides. I mean, it's both sides, but it's it's the same rep. I'll say that. <laughs> same rep. <laughs> we don't mention names. No, just, you know. just rep. Just rep. Ref, the guy in the striped shirt. Yep. What's going on? Technical foul. Going to run the clock down to the two-minute warning. He teed up Yusuf. Yusuf coming off that back injury. Clock is going to stop at two minutes. Trayvon hits it. And they get the ball. Very big call there late down the stretch. I mean, typically it's always one in every game. It's always one that kind of sways it in one, one other team's favor. Yeah. In my game, we had a three-second. In your game, it was the out-of-bounds call. We had to have help on. And, you know, it just typically happens like that in the last two minutes. Especially when you have this competitive of games. When, when they're like the Mako's Magicians last week, the calls didn't matter down the end. But when they're all within five points, it makes it. Uh, why are you settling? Okay. Oh, there you go. Are they giving him that for three? I think it's on the floor, yeah, too. Yeah, gotta be. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I, in the commentary booth, we're, we're agreeing with the call on the yeah, court. Yeah, it's definitely on the floor. Yep. And he gets fouled. That's, That's an, an and one. one. That's an and one. There we go. And he hits it. 59-64. Five-point game. Very winnable game, as we saw last week against us. Down six with 34 seconds. Now they have a minute 34. This is a very, very winnable game here. Down by four points. They were down by almost 20 earlier, and Yusuf. Yeah. What are, did they not watch the footage? I said you don't dribble out of a full court press. And what do you do? Dribble right between two people. And now, how did Chan just hit the ground? Gets fouled again. Q is doing an amazing job running the floor, getting down on both ends, and playing hard. Yeah. What I don't like is Fadi hasn't seen the court in the second half. And Vaughn got a tech now, too. Tech on Vaughn. Everybody's getting tech. They have to keep their emotions in check right now because they're only up four. Yep. Yeah, they've crumbled. They lose this, it's on them. Yeah, literally. And we said at the half, Big Bird noticed that uh, they... The Makos were in the huddle, formulating a game plan, and the Ghost Riders were all just shooting around. Yep. And that game plan, whatever they came up with, is working. really helped. See, I said, with Vaughn on this side of the court, you don't really need a game plan. I feel like the first half, they were just kind of playing and having fun. So them just dunking and having fun during halftime kind of resonated with the rest of their game. But clearly, they, they needed to stay locked in and keep doing what they were doing because yeah. the Makos... Came Even if it's just some smart. positive reinforcement, I, I'm 100% agree. Yeah. Hey, listen, they're uh, down by three now. And I don't know. I, I think the Makos have this comeback in them. And if they do, it is huge. Yeah. They just have to con no turnovers right now if they want to win and continue to pressure the ball because this team ball. crumbles under Past pressure. That's about eight seconds. That's eight, eight seconds. seconds. Yep. Yep. That's an eight Yep. Why is why is Ryan not in the game? Ryan is their highest IQ guy. Let Ryan in the game. I don't like that at all. Chan is a high IQ guy. Yeah, you have to get. I I would say Zig. You have to get Zig out of there. Yeah, I don't mind that. Honestly, I don't mind you, you take yeah, Vaughn Zig, out. Zig for Ryan or Vaughn. Yeah. Because right now it's all about maintaining this lead. Yes. Because you got a team that's hot. He hits that. That's game. Yep. Wow. Up by one. 55 on the clock. What a change. What a turn of events. Timeout, Ghost Riders. Wow. What a game here to start it off. Eric, you got to be on point with the time because we got to keep him going. Yeah, we're already supposed to start the next game. Boogie should have just played. Boogie's here every week. 
I think he just enjoys being here. Oh, yeah, he loves it, but I, we love Boogie. I would have yeah. loved to, and he had a great season last year. I would have loved to have him out there. Man, he hit my team with a step back three, and I promise you, I've never heard the end of that. <laughs> Every time he sees me, he's like, you know I got more. I got more. And I'm like, I know, I know, baby. I, I know. love when he started doing the finger guns, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to love Jordan Boogie Burton. This is this is quite the ending here. Yeah, they took the lead. And both they, teams are now in the bonus. Yeah, at one point, they had them down 17 points, and they let them stick around. They let them come back in the game. Yep. And when you have someone down that much, you got to kill their will. I know it sounds a little messed up, but you got to kill them right no, there. No, for sure. So you have to put the dagger in early, mm -hmm. especially when you have guys like Yusuf, Shot Doc, and 1v1 God. They have a very good team. Wow. Yeah, this is Trayvon crazy. Struggles. He just got fouled. Vaughn, don't settle. You have plenty of time. If you really wanted to, you could take the last shot. Honestly. And give yourself a chance to actually win the game. That's an and one. On the ground foul. 36 seconds. It, no, but they're... One and one. Yeah, they're at seven. One and they're one. They're at seven, yeah. Great job, Eric. Babies are crying. People are talking. 65-64. Ryan is at the line here. He's got shooter. We got to keep the game going. We got to keep the game going. You're good. We just we got to keep the games going. He just said a prayer. I think he just put a hex on him, but he still hit the free throw. Hey, man, I, I don't mess with the voodoo black magic men like that. <laughs> well, that's use of magic. I don't, know, I don't know how much of it there is, but it's a powerful source. Hey, use of it. Whatever he's doing, he need to keep doing it. I saw him sprinting full court and sliding wow. on his stomach and back. At wow. the beginning of the game. Right in front of Pat there. Shot Doc with the foul. All over Trayvon. Great hustle. Vaughn has the ball now. Good pass. Wow, bad pass. Got it. Oh, too much ball movement. Too much ball movement. Shot Doc should have pulled. Yeah. He should have pulled it or at least wait. Set something up. Oh, that's too open. Off the mark. Out of bounds. Great hustle. Oh no! Five seconds on the clock. Hold ball. Hold ball. Six and a half. Six and a half. I don't. What do you want me to do? I'm over here. It's six and a half. I saw yeah, the clock. It's six. It's six. It's six. Yeah. Let's go. Clock's running. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we got time for a buzzer beater. Let's see if they got it in them. It has to be Trayvon. Now, now, may I say this? Down by two, looks awfully familiar to my game. Are they gonna foul on a three? I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah, it has to be, oh. Oh my God! Oh no! Vaughn, 2K, you can't inbound the ball like that, Steve. That is four points. That is, that is bullshit. That is, game. That is bullshit. And he's supposed to give them time. That's two calls. Yeah, that's two times. That's Steven two did times that. that he did that. It's a four-point game. Yeah. That that should not have happened the way that it did. And I'm actually very upset for the Ghost Riders because I feel yeah. like they were a little bit cheated that game. 100%. Because he, he inbounded the ball when everyone is yes. making subs and things like that. You cannot do that. Uh, listen, yeah. we're going to talk about it. That that's unacceptable. That that is very unacceptable. We're gonna we're gonna shut this game off here, uh, and we're gonna come back for game number two, Goblins versus Panthers, for the top of the Osceola Conference. Yes, sir.